Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Danny NHE here. To now bring you a TDM gameplay on standoff. As you can see, the game already started, but I did pretty well. 24 kills to one death, and this was like playing easy mode. This enemy team was absolutely crap. I mean, the next guy down had like 18 kills, one death. It was. It's one of the moments in Call of Duty that you just like playing. In other Call of Duties, you might go against crap teams. In Black Ops, it's supposed to be all uh, score per minute or whatever it is. And you're supposed to go against people of like your kind of level. But on this thing, it was like playing, I don't know, some kids who didn't really know what they was doing. And he, that death, as you'll see, I was calling them my kill streaks and get killed. And he, it's just one of them things with Call of Duty. Every so often, it's against you or it's weird. And in this case, it was like death flew with me. It was making my experience on it a lot easier to like all my bullets was connecting. But when when it's your way around you just feel like turning the game off and that's it. You're done with it. So yeah, what I want to talk about in this video is the Xbox One. I want to talk about that a little bit, so they've gone back on themselves and the used games, you can actually play used games now, you don't have to be online every day. Which is good for like me personally if I was to get an Xbox. Because I still haven't chose which one I'm going to go for. I'm still going to wait until like, they've been released for a couple of weeks and then you know, watch a couple of gameplays on both of them and see which one I like the most. And it, since you can start playing new games on it, that's going to keep a lot of Xbox fans like happy. And the other thing that they've got as well, which is uh, what's it called, the online, where if you was not online every day you'd get banned. I thought that was stupid, but now they've uh, took that or limited it or something, something to do with it. And it, that'll make it a lot better as well, knowing that you can leave your Xbox offline, go on holiday or whatever you want to do, come back and know that you can still play your Xbox because it's not banned. And it, it's just all different things like that that I don't think Microsoft really thought of when they brought it out. But they might even change a lot more. This is on leaked information. It's not 100% true. It's like from a leaked website. I've only got this information from a couple YouTube videos that I've watched. And I just thought I'd pass it on to you guys. A lot of you might be Xbox fans. And I just think good information just needs to be passed out. And need hopefully it will happen and that will change it. And that us PlayStation, your Xbox, or whatever you want to say. Can all just get along with it. I mean, people think because you play a PlayStation or because you play an Xbox, you're like a fanboy to that console. But personally, I'd play the Xbox and need the like a little story of how like I got a PlayStation was I had an Xbox 360. It got the red light of death, and my brother had a PlayStation, so I started playing on his. Started buying games for it, and then I finally thought, oh. I want to go get my own console. I could say I'd like all the games already. I went out and bought the PlayStation and it started Call of Duty like on the end of Modern Warfare 2, I think it was. And it, that's when all like the hacks and stuff, so you went into a lobby, you was straight like 10th Prestige or whatever it was. And went on, then I bought Black Ops 1, see what that was like, and that's where it all started. Uh, I could try and put my stats on the screen of my Black Ops 1 and it, I played a lot of Search and Destroy, that was like the only game mode that I played. So from like Modern Warfare 3 going for mobs, my Call of Duty kind of thing has been pretty well. I've become quite a good player from just being a casual Search and Destroy player and it's someone who only played at weekends and it, it's one of them, it's it's a game that you just uh, enjoy. I hope Call of Duty Ghost brings a lot more to it as well. I might end up doing a video on Call of Duty Ghost. And hopefully Call of Duty will just keep getting better and better. And it, that's it for this video guys. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Subscribe for more. Peace. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Oh, oh my God.